The research wing of South Dakota State University has received a major agricultural environmental grant that's just being implemented. Al Scott with our Aberdeen Newsroom traveling to the BN Cattle Ranch east of Britain and has our top story here at 630. That grant of $80 million to be administered by South Dakota State University is all about finding the ecological impact of cattle raising. Among other things, the project advocates a grass seeding that is to achieve a longer period cattle may graze an area. It's also positive for wildlife habitat. Third generation cattle rancher Nate Bean explains. So the biggest thing that the interseeding will do is just more diversity for everything. You know, you always have something that uh, is kind of in its peak growing season. You know, it's not just all growing now and there's always something that'll be growing. Uh, it's great for nesting birds, you know, waterfowl and everything. Always have something to nest in, the deer, uh, pheasants, everything gets benefit from when there's grasses growing. Ryan Eichler is the director of producer programs for the Agshire Company, developer of the product line. He outlines elements of the project. The benefits are there is cost share on the conservation seedings and so producers are able to take advantage of practices that really help increase the resiliency of their operation and they can do that at almost no cost. And as a project like this, there's actually a premium for the uh, cattle that are produced. Ryan goes on to outline options to activating the conservation program. So there's three options through this project to make conservation seedings. Uh, one being a cover crop, two being a forage planting, and three being a range planting. And so producers can really identify what their biggest need is operationally. Uh, make those seedings and then integrate those acres into their grazing management that they would already uh, have on their operation. Part of an $80 million grant to study the effect of cattle raising on the environment. On the Bean Ranch, east of Britain, Alan Scott, Dakota News Now.